Hello and welcome to Hexa Talk, an industry refresher powered by Hexanica. I'm your host Aditi Ayer, and today we have Yogesh Pandit with us, founder and CEO of Hexanica. Welcome, Yogesh. Thank you, Aditi. So, data is the fuel for compliance. For effective compliance management, data management is critical. As as they say, garbage in, garbage out. And as per independent banker, the banks have spent more than Three hundred and twenty-one billion dollars on compliance management and more than three forty billion dollars in fines. So, in today's ever-changing data and compliance world, chief executives are seeking better ways to manage, document, and report. This can be achieved by investing in capabilities that automate and streamline data management process, such as sourcing, integration, and reporting of uh, reporting offers a part to program maturity. So, Yogesh, could you brief us about the data-driven compliance and its benefits? Yeah, absolutely. See, traditionally, you know, if you reverse maybe ten years, fifteen years, uh, when it comes to regulators, see, com when you say compliance, it has to deal with regulators. And traditionally, regulators were expecting the reports to be submitted, and they used to be just happy with it. Uh, in the last 10, 15 years, the trend has changed. Especially after the Dodd-Frank Act, the regulators have explicitly are asking for data. They are asking for data auditability. And now they're expecting the compliance teams or sometimes it's the finance and risk team that are involved with compliance uh, to know how the data reaches uh, their sources how the data from the original loan systems, uh, uh, payment systems, mortgage systems, uh, or deposit systems is being reported to regulators. Uh, the, the time has come where compliance team need to know a little bit about data. They don't need to be data experts, data engineer, or data scientist. But perhaps, you know, what are the data elements that are being received and reported uh, how are things being calculated? Uh, they cannot just blame things on the CIO or chief data officer or CTO and say, oh, we don't know. We just know the reports and we know the compliance solution. But things have changed. And that's why data-driven compliance, meaning that from report to original source data, original source document, the process behind it, the management behind it, all is combined data driven compliance. So, what are the right questions to consider before moving towards data driven compliance management? Oh, that's a great question. So, first, are we as people ready? Right? Uh, meaning that uh, is the compliance team ready to open their minds and say, okay, you know what? I am ready to understand how data functions, how data flows. Uh, I am ready to take ownership of some of the data components that are coming to. Uh, so people aspect of it is very important. See, when you say data-driven compliance, essentially you are combining traditionally two workflows. A workflow that is being managed traditionally by the CIOs or CDOs, which is the data and compliance, which is managed by the chief financial officer or, or chief compliance officers uh, uh, when it comes to submissions. Data-driven compliance means you have to think this holistically. Are both the teams going to work with each other to make it a data-driven compliance as an objective? And to some extent, most likely the ownership will come to the compliance manager. Compliance, chief compliance officer nowadays are literally getting fired, penalized, or punished in some of the other ways for not being able to explain how a particular report is being done. Blaming the process, which is not under their purview, it cannot be digested by the regulators anymore. So that's why people it starts with people and leadership okay and we did leadership if you remember 
uh, month ago, we did uh, data-driven leadership. So it starts with the compliance leadership. Then it starts with the people within compliance teams and people within the data teams, correct? Because it, they, they have to now sit together in a synchronized uh, agenda uh, and if uh, and they have to rhyme together well. Then it starts with, okay, now that the team is aligned, what are the technologies that we are going to use? There are a lot of self-service AI-driven technologies that now compliance team can use uh, to actually control and manage their own data. They don't necessarily need to know programming. So technology is the, the second piece combined with the processes. Some of the processes may require to be modified, automated, and so on and so forth for data-driven compliance. Well said, Yuvish. So how would you like to conclude it? So, I mean, each organization has to set some object objectives of why they want to do data-driven compliance. Typically, you want things faster, better, and cheaper. In regard to compliance, how it could be faster, if you have data-driven compliance, then your reports will go timely. You will need less manual interventions. And as a result, uh, your compliance reporting will be better with better data quality, better explainability, better traceability, which is what the regulators expect, which is what the leadership in financial institutions expect. And obviously it becomes cheaper. Compliance is a big burden on community banks, credit unions, or even large banks. And these automated technologies are extremely important to make it faster, better, and cheaper compliance. So keep a very clear objectives and it, to be simplified, look out for mechanisms to make it make compliance faster, better, and cheaper, and data-driven compliance supported by the latest and greatest technologies such as artificial intelligence, self-service utilities, et cetera, should be adopted and implemented. And that's what the chief compliance officer or in cases where the CFO or chief risk officer are the owners of compliances should be thinking about day in and day out. Data is growing, institutions are merging, they are becoming bigger. And unless you automate this function, you will not be able to focus on customers. You will be dragged with compliances. And that's why data-driven compliance is extremely important and critical in, in today's marketplace. Thank you so much, Yogesh. That was quite an informative session. Thank you, Aditi.